Hello everyone and thank you very much for joining us tonight. I'm Peter Albrecht and I'm Devin Walsh. First on five, the woman charged in a hit and run earlier this week that seriously injured an Alberta third grader made her first court appearance this afternoon. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams joins us live now and Debbie Katie Rolek might stay behind bars for a while longer. Well, yeah, and prosecutors had asked for an even higher bond, but in the end, the judge settling on a preset bond. So it's a total of $31,000 for Katie Rolick, who has been behind bars since Monday morning when all this happened. Now, in court today, we did learn a little bit more from prosecutors about what they believe happened Monday. They say that the school bus was stopped, the stop sign out when Rolick went around the bus on Crayling Road, hit the child and kept going. Now she was later arrested uh, at her workplace in Foley. The little girl in the, by the way, was airlifted to a trauma center while all that was going on. Rolick is charged with leaving the scene of an accident, assault and reckless endangerment. She told the judge she is the mother of two children and lives just down the road from where the child was hit. Now, if she can make bond, Judge William Scully ordered that she be under GPS house arrest with an ankle monitor and an alcohol monitor and said that she's not allowed to drive at all. As for the child, she is out of the hospital and recovering from broken bones, bruises, and a concussion. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.